Yeah, so the podcast interview though, it was like super inspiring and that's what today's video is gonna be, just like clips from that that I thought were like particularly good. One issue I did run into, I noticed I hit record, this is, this is technical, but I hit record on the camera and so some of the, like, it's it stopped recording at some point. I need to like turn back on like the record on, record off sound from this thing because like it's been doing that and I don't know why. Like, might be the SD card that I have in there, not sure, but yeah, so that's kind of annoying. Either way, the clips were great. I think it's incredibly inspirational and um, yeah, I don't know. Like you ever have those days where like you just get up and feel like, yeah, you just own the day. Like, like that was today for me. So, um, good day. Good day. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. The clip's coming on right now. And then, um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. And you'll automatically say yes. And then three seconds later, wait, no, it's not. So he didn't really listen to the question. He'd already decided what his answer was. And you, you can't do that. I think we get used to doing that because we expect to know where things are going. Or, you know, in businesses, they expect an answer to be a very certain thing. And if the data tells them that something else is actually happening that doesn't fit their business model or their business plan, you have to be able to show that and understand it or they still will want to adapt because they have a preconceived notion. I like how you brought the story with your child because it reminds me how, how many of the traits that we have as kids carry into our adult lives, even okay. if you're maybe like a CEO or a business executive. <laughs> it's like, yeah, my eight-year-old does that. It's true. And I, and I think we, we pick up on a lot of those things very early on and they, they set how we look at things. Mm -hmm. Well, and you know, a lot of times I think of astrophysics uh, as a gateway science. It does very little for the actual day-to-day -day life of people. However, it has ancillary benefits. It gave us roller coasters. It gave us digital cameras as we know them. It has medical imaging tied up. But probably more important than all those things is it's something that captures people's imagination. If you can figure out a way to explain what some distant galaxy is made of and how we know that, whether it's to an 18-year-old that's thinking about what they want to do in life, or to a kindergartner, that can hook them on science. Chances are it will lead them down a path that does lead to something that's more directly impactful. Everything gets connected in some way. Just don't give up. Just keep going. You know, whether it's in astronomy or something else, the answers are going to be hard to find if they're worth finding.